Hey, tubers. I'm on the porch. I decided to come up for a cigarette. Because just have to. Well, I've been having more luck. I'm getting the uh, garden tractor prepped up for the season. Then, uh, oh yeah, a little scruffy or what. Then I've been having with the Pontiac. <laughs> lots more. Lots more luck. Um, I only got one light because that's the light that was on the Grand Prix. And the... Uh, cut a rock and broke it, but I... Um, I just put it there because uh, it's a similar hole there and there's another light to go there. But I put a grill on it. it. used to be a crazy piece of plastic there and you couldn't get any light out of it. But I'll put two of these in the bottom once I find them. And uh, yeah. And then the rear lights. Um, the uh, I'm going to try to ignore what's uh, next door in which... Uh, you guys already know it's not important yeah I've been pretty lucky with this and Onan 18 horse and I put a a energizer bunny you know, fire up my bunny and uh, yep talk about something sweet Keep it neutral. Yeah, it works the very best. I got the old battery on the charger. Um, this is spare. It's an old Napa battery. Again, yeah. Okay. The thing is getting a lot of use lately. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I cut. I did some cutting in the back just to play around a little bit there. and uh, cleaned up the back in a way. I just got the uh, this pile of stuff I gotta get rid of. Here. So it's gonna come and then I gotta get that shelving done and put put away. It's all put away stuff. I didn't go in that field yet. Although I did widen it up a little bit back there, so yeah, it's, it's gonna come, it's gonna come. This thing is pretty great. That's a uh, heavier made, eh? This heavier made. They are uh, manufactured back in the day, I think it was in Diapolis. The tag is actually back there, but I oversprayed it a little bit there, so it's made by the Roper Corporation anyhow. Like I said, uh, back in the day. I, uh, they don't come in black there, it's uh, usually uh, a rust color, I think, but... Holy cripes, that poor machine. I mean, you know. I never done that once with mine at all. I know where it's low and I just don't go there. But him, uh, don't bother him. Don't bother him. So, yeah, all the belts are working great. It's awesome. I just pushed it out of the shed and uh, got out here and crank, 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 crank and then it wouldn't start so I didn't know what the problem was but uh, it turned out the way the other owner had it uh, he's got uh, one switch for the lights and one switch for the ignition and plus the ignition key so I was cranking, cranking, cranking but uh, both switches were down so it wouldn't start <laughs> <laughs> and it killed the battery so that one over there so I put in the energizer and phew, looked at the switch oh it's off so yeah fired right up cool little steering huh yeah it's a great little tractor I wouldn't try that little red thing next door there to uh, 
to cut that. Oh Lord. There's a... Uh, it's about a foot thick. Holy shoes. It's about a foot thick. So. Of course, you know. I got some stuff back there I gotta haul. And this is gonna be a... Oh. A good $20 uh, of oil and gas spent. So that's why I'm not in a rush. Not in a rush. Yep. Still for sale. Want it? They got it down to 45. They had it up to 49. Got it back down to 45. That's what it says on their listing. On the web page. And the buzz is starting. So. Summer must be just around the corner. Nice. Hi, Tubes. I'm outside for a cigarette. A cigarette. <laughs> oh, let's check out on that battery wall over there. Uh, showing 9.0. I'll try to reset the thing. Boom! <laughs> yeah, I didn't take too good care of that one there. At all. I backed the tractor in the fall. I put her in the shed. I turned the key off. And that was it. But uh, I'm going to take better care of it there this year. I'll actually bring the uh, battery in the basement and um, put it on the trickle charger, you know, once in a while, a couple times a month, or something like that. I want you to love those mufflers. Nah, I don't. Yeah, so that be. Yeah, the deck on that. Someone was asking. Uh, it's 54 inch. There's three blades. And, uh, yeah. There was a, a for sale sign over there. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was my first time out. Jeez, you know, I was looking at the, I was looking at the corner of the wheels or the clearance. Um, as you can see, there it is. Eh, a little bit of a difference. <laughs> That's funny. Like, goodbye sign. Yeah, Harry and the Hendersons. That was awesome. I decided to put it on Facebook as a, as a shared link. I was watching it online a while ago. Yep, good old 1987 movies, boys, I'm telling you. Takes you back. Man, Takes you back. Um, Gary, from California, wanted to know what the miles were on. Come on, you're not a GBC eater, you can focus. See? 251. 251,000. Of course, these are in kilometers, buddy. Oh yeah, runs like a top. You know, just touch the key, it's gonna start. But, uh, yep. I ain't done digging yet. I'm gonna find out what's what yet. I'm not gonna give up. Not on a silly little soap problem like that. <sighs> I'm gonna make this so quick, guys. Won't even have a chance to say it's boring. And I don't blame you if you do. Okay. <clears throat> they took this back to the store and they put it on the uh, on the machine there. 
and they load tested it and it goes through a series of tests there whatever yeah yeah whatever and um, checked out fine just perfect so there's nothing wrong with it well I cherished it for like three hours yesterday <laughs> so uh, yeah yeah if this thing's still at nine that means it's full and nope 0 0.2 okay I like that it's in the deeper charge well, doesn't matter and uh, why why well because of rust that's why and uh, the rocker panels which you can't see yet are rusted so I um, ordered and got two rocker panels and it's hiding behind the rockers are hiding behind um, this piece here okay you take this piece off and then you're uh, there's a rail there that goes all the way to the that holds that piece of plastic so you take the rail off and uh, there's your rocker panel and to fix the issue this door here is like you know everything's drier from winter this is the actual body of the car here okay this you know it looks solid it is solid but of course I'm hit with my finger too right um but where I'm gonna cut I can't practice, but I'm going to cut right on the seam here. Starting here, all the way back, the whole, uh, the whole side. Oh, door's locked. I have to use the old style, find a button and turn it. Okay, because I haven't put the battery back. And I can't have a car in the battery if I'm welding or have any welding work done to the car so kind of frees up the computer and I got enough problems already so I'm not gonna do that right away so cut 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 right a little bit of bubblage here I need a screwdriver that's what I need a rock do yeah anything will at this point dog bone it has surface rust on it uh, let me get a screw up <laughs> <clears throat> Oh yeah, it's pretty evident guys if you will. Over here it'd be doubled. But you can see there. Job for um, job for Sean. <laughs> eh? 
Sean eats rest. Doesn't he? Eh? Rest. 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 So the inners are done. Ah, let's see if I can lay down here. Ah, got my coat on. It's not really fair. I don't know if your camera's even picking it up. Oh my. Now I gotta pop that cover tomorrow there. And uh, lay a tarp down on the ground and drive the car over it. <sighs> I don't know. Rest. Oh, yeah. The exhaust is good on it though. That's about all. So I, I, don't, I don't know. Get into this a little bit. See how far my screwdriver is inside there? That's the yeah, inner rocker panels. This is just a piece of plastic. It's just pretty near holding the car together. <laughs> Not really, but almost. You know, that's rust, you know, that's rust. I mean, it's, the car is 12 years old, so I mean, you know, what is? Look at the tires. You know, that's 660 bucks right there. <clears throat> so, I don't know. And if I go on the other side, it's just as bad. On the driver's side, that's where you're... Your left tires are in the, they're in the, uh, just the right place there. Oh yeah. Mmm. Yummy. So, I mean, you know, I'm gonna, which is up here, I'm gonna, but that's what I'm up against. I know what needs to be done, and, uh, you know, I'll grab a, I'll grab a gallon of, uh, Evercoat, and, uh, Another gallon of uh, Dura glass, and uh, we'll put uh, we'll cut out the old rockers. We'll put the new ones on. Uh, Dennis said he'd uh, come over and <coughs> spot weld the things on for me, and then uh, do the weld right across, and then uh, they'll be done. Uh, there's a little bit of more work to do on the uh, uh, inner rocker panels. That's going to take me a while, a little while, a little while longer because uh, you got to rebuild the inside so the outside got somewhere to tie on to, right? But after that, I'm going to cover everything in Duraglass, which is, uh, yeah, rock on, baby. <laughs> The, do the inside and do the outsides. A tin layer of Dura glass over it, which is Dura glass wide. Well, ask Sean. Ask any good uh, body shop there. Um, Dura glass is waterproof. So at best, uh, uh, water resistant. I mean, I don't want to keep it for another hundred years, but uh, you know. Oh shoot, and I put the screwdriver away, I could have, I could have, uh, it's just, sorry about that, it's just a dog leg, but, uh, it's doubled, so, okay, I can fix that, but it's the rockers, oh boy, 
I took a beating this winter. Or, well, I, I didn't get to drive it much this winter. But, took a beating anyway. Hey, sir. Yeah. We didn't drive that Grand Prix much this winter. No. It was mostly broke down in the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it spent this winter in a shelter. <laughs> so, let me grab another smoke. I needed to make a little bit of a video. And, um... I need a smoke. You want one? No. Okay. You guys met Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't put my face on! My face is on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. So. Yeah. It really cooled off, guys. I don't know what the temperature is out here anymore, but... I'd have to go back and look at the thermometer, but we're probably looking at 15 degrees or, oh my god, is I ever scruffy. Apologize. Yep, that little tractor. Yeah. Love it. I like it even more than when I get to cut that field. That's for sure. Anyhow, that's long enough, and uh, I hope you're having a great weekend. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for commenting. I like that. I really do like that. So, thank you for doing so, and have yourself a great weekend. We'll be talking to you on the next one. Ciao.